important. So we'll, we'll do that towards the end. So I have a lovely new bell that I was given as a present. It's called the Energy Bar Chime Heart Chakra. And it has a lovely sound. So I'll, I'll use that in a moment. Um, So it, it's interesting, last week I, when I was out, I live near a football pitch and I, I was so conscious of the sunshine and, and joy and some of the cherry blossom trees that are nearby that I realized I felt a bit guilty because I was feeling, you know, well. And it reminded me of a poem by Thich Nhat Hanh, and he, he wrote this, I heard him say after a whole night of being awake, struggling with the pain of the boat people at the time in the 70s, and some of the terrible things that pirates were doing to these very vulnerable boat people. And he talks about uh, the joy and the sorrow, being able to touch both, and it's called call me by my true names. So I might intersperse some of that as we do our practice together. Is that okay? So let's, let's arrive and by that we mean to arrive in our bodies. We're here, but often we're only half here. So pausing to, to intentionally drop our attention down to the body. We're often in our head, so this deliberate act of, of noticing this body which we call ours. And often when we notice, we're noticing with comments and judgments and disappointments and frustration and so on. Whereas here as best we can, we're inviting ourselves to explore sensation directly. Maybe for now, just the contact of the weight of the body, the bottom on the, the chair or the cushion or the couch. The contact with the earth, actually. And the mind will wander as it does, that's just what happens as the heart beats, the mind thinks. And as we, as we notice this, we can gently say, ah, thinking. Not a problem. And then kindly with some patience, probably, as best we can, intentionally guiding ourselves back to sensing directly this body, this contact, as best we can.
And maybe also realizing that there's space around us. Maybe behind, in front, above. Quite spacious above us. contacting the experience of this body. Tingling, warmth, coolness, touch. And this deep, generous attitude of not needing to change ourselves in this moment. Nothing to be fixed or solved or analyzed. The mind might be busy. Maybe today was a hard day. Or maybe there was moments of ease and peace. Maybe both. the sense of being present with your own body and heart and mind as best we can knowing that the mind is full of its own ideas wanting this not wanting that, and so on. And maybe in the midst of all of this, there's a possibility to allow ourselves to, to be here in the midst of the waves of our life. In this moment, allowing ourselves to, to be. 
as best we can, just as we are. Knowing that in any moment you can choose to keep the eyes open, to, to contact sight and sound as an anchor. bringing the mind gently with lots of patience towards this human heart and mind, bringing ourselves back. We're so future oriented. So much of the time worrying, fretting. Sometimes with real concerns, but that can occupy so much of our time, our space, our life. And if it's helpful, you might like to, to narrow the attention to the sensations of breathing. Or choosing to keep a wide angle attention of the sense of the, the whole of the body. Perhaps the beginning of an in-breath. And just noticing this natural, gentle expansion, the gentle lifting and falling. Sometimes we can try too hard and it becomes tense and a bit of a struggle. And if that's your experience, just keeping the wide angle attending of the entire body. The sense of the entire body.
And as we are sort of deliberately still, we often notice areas of holding and tension. Parts of the body that are overworking on our behalf. Exploring this, maybe for the next few moments, and perhaps inviting these areas to maybe just soften a little to the extent that's possible. This body heart, this mind, this moment. Present as, as best we can. With ourselves. A warm presence. There's no such thing as a bad meditation. We're all engaged in this in this effort, in this intention to open to our own experience. best we can using the body, the breath, as an anchor. We're using sound and shapes as an anchor. We might be 
full of concern and worry for other people or for ourselves. So just recognizing this worry, recognizing concern. Helps us to sort of live with it. Allow it to be maybe part of our experience without taking space in our head, in our bodies so much of the time. Saying worry. It's okay. Being concerned, being worried is a sign of caring, of being connected, of love. A few, uh, a few parts of the poem by Thich Nhat Hanh that he wrote after spending a whole night awake full of anguish and grief and rage and sorrow. What was happening with the boat people? Do not say that I'll depart tomorrow for even today I still arrive. Look deeply, I arrive in every second to be the bud on a spring branch, to be a tiny bird with wings still fragile. I am the frog swing, swimming happily in the clear pond. And I am also the grass snake who, approaching in silence, feeds itself on the frog. My joy is like spring, so warm it makes flowers bloom in all walks of life. My pain is like a river of tears so full it fills the four oceans. Please call me by my true names so I can hear all my cries and laughs at once. So I can see that my joy and pain are one. Please call me by my true name so I can wake up and so the door of my heart can be left open, the door of compassion. My joy is like spring, so warm it makes flowers bloom in all walks of life. My pain is like a river of tears, so full it fills the four oceans. Please call me by my true name so I can hear all my cries and laughs at once. 
so I can see that my joy and pain are one. Please call me by my true name so I can wake up and so the door of my heart can be left open, the door of compassion. So it's important if, you're, if your line of work at the moment is dealing with, you know, a